Robert Lambert, who uh, has two things on his uh, agenda right now. He needs to keep this World Championship alive by making the final. And, of course, he wants to grab as many points tonight as possible. A win would be very handy, because even then, that would uh, then force his way into second place in the World Championship and keep the championship alive going into Torin in two weeks' time. Yeah, all the pressure on Lambert in this one. What a time to win your first ever Speedway Grand Prix final. That would uh, be timely, wouldn't it? I think if he can make a good start, he has absolutely every chance because he has the speed, he has the skills. I don't think conditions really phase him too much at all. Um, uh, these sort of conditions he would have... He's got plenty of experience. He, he rode in England for an awful long time and he's got that type of style where he's in charge of the motorbike majority of the time. Patiently waiting on here, Smartlick. Must be feeling a little bit anxious. Here we go. Semi-final number two. Green light comes on. Now. Takes up. Away we go. Janowski's made a really good start. Lambert's there right alongside him. It was a level break. Look at that from Gulli. He comes back into third place. Robert Lambert trying to push on through. But Janowski holds firm. He runs wide. Robert Lambert up the inside. But Janowski hangs on. Gulli now giving chase back in third place with Jensen out the back. Robert Lambert up the inside. Coming on strong. Yeah, Robert Lambert doing everything he can. He doesn't want to get held up by Janowski. He will have looked. He will know Dan Gulli's behind him. He knows how quick. Dan Bewley can go, he doesn't want Janowski to hold him up, but Bewley, the harder he tries, the further back he goes. So Matej Janowski off the inside gate, riding well out in front, Robert Lambert hugging him around the inside, we've got a lap to go in the second semi. It's looking like it's going to be Janowski and Robert Lambert, Lambert's going to keep the championship alive. Coming through here, I hope I'm right in that case, but I believe, believe I am. Janowski and Lambert are through to the final. Dan Bewley and, yet, and uh, Rasmus Jensen just missing out there in the second semi-final. Shame for them. The outside two gates once again proving to be too much of a challenge. Inside two gates working so well tonight. So the result of the second semi-final is a super ride for Janowski. He wins it. Robert Lambert strong in second place there through to the final. Dan Bewley misses out and so does Rasmus Jensen this evening. One more race to come tonight. A piece for um, uh, Matzei Janowski. He's had such a difficult time mentally. He's through. But for that man, all of a sudden, he's on the verge of, uh, of doing it once again. Well, as far as the championship goes and the medal positions goes, this one was all about Robert Lambert. He comes off gate two. The inside gate's working well all night. But with Janowski in front of him, there's always the concern and if he gets trapped down on the inside, only on just one corner, a man like Dan Bewley could find a way past. But to be honest, the harder Dan tried, the further back he went. He moved out wide, he got wheel spin, he went around the inside, he got wheel spin, he just could not make the ground up. Janowski and Lambert go through, and by my reckoning, if Lambert wins it, Smarslik still needs to finish fourth for Lambert to take it to Torrent. Yeah, I'm trying to do crunch and numbers here, but I'm, I'm, I'm not succeeding very well. But um, there's no doubt that uh, if Smarslik finishes fourth, he'll move on to 155 points. Uh, Lambert is coming into uh, this final. He's on 117. So 20 points, that's 137. And uh, that uh, might just be enough to take it yeah. to Torren. <laughs>